Well, to say I'm excited about Reborn OS is an understatement, and how this flew under my radar for so long is beyond me. At any rate, I'm happy to have come across it and really excited because this is like total recall for me from one of my favorite distros of 2018 into early 2019, which was Interagos. And this pretty well is Interagos with more. Um, it's using the Cinchi installer with multiple options. We're going to step through those options. So we're going to go ahead and launch into Reborn OS. And uh, I think this is an improved Cinchi because I know that towards the end of the development with Interagos, Cinchi was not very stable. Um, there were lots of people talking about the issues they had with the Cinchi installer. But here they take things up a notch, and I've done a little reading here on Reborn OS. It seems that there might be a developer to, or two from the Interagos a project working on Reborn OS, and this is a very recent uh, 3.16 of 2020 installer. You'll boot initially into the GNOME desktop here. It's not the traditional GNOME desktop. You've got your panel at the bottom, uh, but this gets you started. So let's just go ahead and start this process up here. And normally I don't do an install portion as part of my video reviews or or video overviews, but that's where things are very interesting with Reborn OS. And one of the reasons I was such a huge fan of Interagos is that you've got a lot of options to set up multiple desktops, and Reborn takes it to another level. Uh, and so all of that's an important part of what makes up this Arch-based distro. All right, so we're going to step through here with your language. And next up, they want to make sure you're connected to the Internet because a big part of this install the packages will be downloaded. These are the options that you choose as we step through here. It's also a reason that this, is, that this particular install is slower than a standard distro install. Uh, I've had it range here and I've loaded up the Deepin desktop, which worked great. Uh, the Mate desktop, uh, it had some issues there. Maybe I'll talk about those a little later. Um, the, this is going to be the Cinnamon desktop that I'm going to load up here. And what else did I load? Uh, yeah, just the base GNOME desktop seems to work just fine. Each of these desktop environments are going to be, some are better than others. I'll just put it that way. And that's the way Interagus used to be as well. Some were more full-featured, themed, things like that, while others didn't seem to get as much attention. And I suspect there's a little bit of that going on here too. All right, so let's just go ahead and step through here. Let's get our uh, layout for system locale. And here's where things start to get interesting. So you can start out with just a base command line only system. Next up you have Budgie. Oh, that's what I installed earlier was the Budgie desktop. How did I forget that? And the implementation was very good within Budgie. It seemed to be pretty full featured. You still had some of the GNOME uh, applications. So you had like, you know, GNOME tweaks. GNOME tweaks was still in place. And, you know, at the same time while having Budgie tweaks. So... There was a little bit of that going on, but as far as the desktop environment, it seemed to be, you know, full-featured budgie desktop. Uh, so next up here, we're going to be installing and choosing Cinnamon, but I'm going to skip on down here. Deepin seemed to be a good implementation as well. You have Enlightenment, Gnome, i3, KDE, LXQT, Mate, and that was the one where I had some issues. When I switched from Fedora to OpenSUSE for the panel arrangement, um, I wound up with blank panels, wound up having to add in the menu and that kind of thing back to one of the blank panels just to kind of get things back and then try to switch back and again wound up with blank panels. So something's going on there. Could have just been my install. You also have open box. See if I can make that. Nope, can't change that window. Here is the original Apricity setup. So this uh, distro has been discontinued but it was an arch-based system with a nice theme in place and everything. So you, this is basically a customized GNOME desktop experience. And if you were a fan of Apricity OS, then here's your opportunity. Next up, they have the Pantheon desktop, but they do mention here, and I appreciate what they've done here. They go on to tell you that while this will run, they've had to load in the background Cinnamon, just to make things more full-featured within the desktop because just straight Pantheon um, didn't give a full experience. 
just to let you know there. And then you've got the Windows interface. Now what they've done here, this is not Windows on Linux, but someone has themed the Cinnamon desktop and made this look as close to Windows 10 or Windows 7 or whatever they're going for here without the ability to, of course, run Windows apps. And last but certainly not least is XFCE. And this looks like a pretty vanilla version of XFCE, which is okay because that's easy enough to change uh, within the XFCE settings. So here you've got a few more options than you actually had with Interagos. So moving on here, now we've got a selection of options here that we can choose to install. And this is where your download process will take place for these packages. So if you need accessibility package, you have that here. Applications to perform system maintenance. And you'll notice here if I hover, you're gonna get a little pop-up with a description of what it is you're turning on. So in this case, you've got bleach bit, stacer, time shift. Uh, you're gonna find time shift in, in Mint and many other distros and reborn OS recovery. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and toggle this on. I wanna find out what reborn OS recovery is. Uh, next up, you've got the AUR, so you, if you don't use the AUR, you can toggle that off here. We're going to leave that on. I'm going to leave or turn on Bluetooth support. And from here, we're going to skip over the Chromium browser. I'm going to skip their photo editing and, well, let's see what they've got there. GIMP, GThumb, Rapid Photo Downloader, Raw Therapy, and Darktable. I'm going to skip over that. I like this hardware analysis tool, so we're going to toggle that on. Kernel here is LTS version. You do have a kernel tool to change that kernel or update that kernel. We'll turn on LibreOffice. Don't need the power saving really, but I'm going to put that there in place. Don't really use Redshift. We'll go with VLC and WPS Office. See if there's anything new there. Now there are some advanced features here. Um, we'll go ahead and check that and you'll see here. Uh, uh, Nautilus Fire Man, uh, File Manager, not Fire Manager, but File Manager. Uh, those are some uh, of the uh, advanced options. Spell Check, uh, if you need that, actually, it's slightly broken, they say here. Support for FireWire devices. And uh, Windows Sharing SMB. I'll toggle that off, and we'll go ahead and hit Next. And you're going to get an AUR Disclaimer. So you can close that out. Now here earlier in one of the previous installs, I had an issue here with the cache partition. So I'm going to leave that off. You don't have to have that on. It kind of depends on your system. If you didn't have a lot of space, um, you know, on your existing uh, system, then this could be a problem. But since I've left it off, I've had no issues. And so we'll move forward there. And we're going to let Cinchi sort the mirror list. And they recommend that. So I'm going to do a fresh install on this system. So we're going to leave this default as we see here. But if you wanted to, you could encrypt this installation, set up logical volume management in this case, or set your home uh, directory in a different partition and or volume. So if you do that, I think you're going to wind up getting an option for what amount of space you want to choose there. In this case, I'm just going to go with the default and we're going to move forward. Now here you got to be careful because you'll notice that the drive to install to here is actually the flash drive that I have Reborn OS loaded on. So we don't want to try installing over that. It'll error out even if you try, but we're going to go ahead down to the hard drive. And the same here, you want to make sure you're installing Grub on the hard drive as well. So we'll check those two and move on from there. And here we'll enter in the name and what you want to call your PC and things like that. And next up, you're going to have a review of everything you're choosing to install, as well as your layout for location, keyboard, your time zone, and wait a minute, this chose XFCE. Wow, am I glad that I looked at that. But we're going to have to go all the way back and choose Cinnamon. And believe me, I didn't do that on purpose. That's why it's nice to have a review screen here so that you can see exactly what it is you're setting up for your system. All right, well, hit yes, I really want to do this. And you're going to see a few screens here talking about what they have in their own repos. So you're going to have access to the Arch user repository. And then within their own repos, they're going to have a flat, fat, blue GTK theme, a few other themes 
all GTK based. The Halo Halo icon theme, the Numix icon theme with variants there. Uh, so now this download, we're going to go ahead and skip over this part and we'll load back in for the rest of the video and review of Reborn OS. So here we are with our fresh install of our Arch based OS. You know, this is a pretty vanilla cinnamon install here and you know what that's fine because I'm going to have a blast going in and theming this. So let's talk about Reborn OS from the aspect of what's built into this. Um, this is more than just a multitude of desktop choices um, you know that you would set up as you saw there with the Cinchi installer. Yeah, they've actually got some of their own tools in place. They have their repo set up. But before we do that, I want to talk about this. You're going to have a pop-up here. It's not a welcome screen or anything like that. It's just this pop-up to add the flat pack. And I've noticed this with the multitude of installs of Reborn. Um, it's just one of these things that you will add it. You'll log in, you know, apply your password, but then it doesn't go away. It just kind of hangs around. So I don't know if that's a bug, uh, but it's happened on every install. And one of the tools built in is Reborn Updates and Maintenance. So we'll take a look at that. And we're going to have an option for Terminal. In this case, I'm going to go with Xterm. Close this window out. And here, you're, you've got a tool designed to allow you to update everything from display managers and setting that up. By the way, the default greeter is awesome. Uh, desktop environment choices here. F so from this tool, the idea is that you could install an additional desktop environment uh, with those various options you have at install. And it looks like the one left out would be Windows. But um, you know, this is as broad a selection of desktops, I think, as you're going to find. And you've got system maintenance tools here. Remove all packages, clear the journal, uh, rank your mirrors, remove unnecessary programs from here. You've got a repair section here for save recovered programs, reinstall grub, bootloader, uh, downgrade, and remove packages. You've also got rollback here, and I um, haven't messed with this at all to know how this compares to... Uh, something like time shift or something like that. Then you've got some add-ons here with Control Mycroft uh, and Box for you know setting up Android APKs and then share files here. And let's see what we've got in tools. So you've got Pac-Man settings, the Arch Kernel Manager, which I think there's a separate listing for that. Let's take a quick look at that. So we're currently on 5.5.13 Stacer. So easily clean your PC built right into the tools section. So I'm going to go ahead and quit there. I like this. I like that they've taken the time to build this in and kind of set their tool apart here or their grouping of tools apart. And um, again, I'm really, really excited to have come across Reborn. It just takes me back, um, and I've said this probably too many times, it just takes me back to the fun I used to have every time I would set up a fresh Interagos uh, system because of the way that things are optioned out for your install, it's, it's almost like if you wanted to sit down with someone uh, new to Linux and talk with them about the various desktops and go through the process with them, it would really be a teaching moment uh, just installing the OS. So from that aspect, I'm just I'm thrilled to see this. I'm also going to have a great time going in and setting up and theming Cinnamon and we'll see how this runs. Uh, so far it seems snappy. And let's just pop over to the settings section. I want to see if there's anything new there outside of what you'd normally find within Cinnamon. And it looks like that's your standard Cinnamon settings. And let's just do a quick scroll through. Um, under accessories you're going to find probably your usuals. Let's see if anything new stands out there. Stacer, so standalone for Stacer. Uh, USB image writer and stick formatter are in place. Let's just see here. Yeah, that looks like uh, Mint's standard tools, Mint stick, if you will. Let's see what else we've got here. Some mixers. Now, these are things, these are just part of the install. I did not choose these. 
see what else we may have here. Disk usage analyzer. Bleach bit was a part of the tool set when we toggled that on. System monitor. There's time shift. Oh, the system profiler and benchmark. That was part of the tool set as well. Now, I want to talk about software. So you've got kind of a semi-software store here. And this is where your flat packs would come from, I do believe. So if we go into explore, let's go over to productivity. Actually, maybe this is not this. Maybe this is more than flat pack. Uh, let's see here. Let's try Caden Live. So we'll go ahead and that's already installed. I just want to see if this is the flat pack. Source is unknown. Now, flat packs were supposed to be added to this. So I'll have to check into what repos are running in the background here and that kind of thing. Uh, but it looks like a pretty good selection overall. But you also, through Pamac, can set up your software. And I prefer to use that within an Arch-based operating system um, because of the AUR. So I had chosen to turn that on by default. But if you forget to do that, you can go into Preferences here and simply toggle on the AUR. And that's just going to open up a world of software to you. Uh, this is what I prefer to use on an Arch-based system as opposed to kind of a categorized software store, if you will. Very excited to have this. I'll probably uh, get to work on some theming next, but I think I'll end the video here. And, and I just got to say, if you were a fan of Interagos back in the day, well, you may want to consider Reborn OS. As always, thanks for watching.